Hi everyone. Yesterday I showed you this device and I showed you the, the phone and the motorbike and um, I kind of introduced the project. So I've actually been working on this for about two to three months, not every day, definitely not every day. I've been doing my dissertation for my uh, master's degree. But whenever I've had a spare hour or something like that, I'd be messing about with this. So what this is, if you if you didn't watch the other video, it's a it's a voltage sensor, and it's a temperature sensor, and it passes the data to my phone via Bluetooth. So here's a closer look if you if you're interested. Um, and basically, this device, or no, this video is going to show you the hardware of this device and a little bit about how I've done it. Now, when you watch this video, this particular video. Try to watch it with an open mind because I realise that not everybody is going to want a temperature sensor and not everybody is going to want a voltage divider. The key point of the video really is how you can make a device that can get any sort of input and output it to a phone via Bluetooth. Okay, nevertheless I will explain exactly how this is, this is working. So the purpose of this video right now is to show you the hardware. So I did the introduction yesterday. And this is going to be the hardware. Okay, so here we go. Now, when I make when I make these sorts of things, I tend to add headers like this. I can just take this out. This is where I'm gonna. This pin's gonna poke through my hand now. You just know it. There we go. Ah, there you go. I did it nicely. So I've got an Arduino Pro Mini. There's the Arduino Pro Mini. Really cheap little Arduinos. They don't have a proper voltage regulator um, although you can you can do it but you've got to be very careful so because of that I like to use my own voltage regulator which I'll show you in a minute now the other thing with the Pro Mini as opposed to the Nano is that it doesn't have a, a serial bridge um, to talk to your computer and because of that you need one of these but I won't go on about that. Basically, that's a, that plugs into your, your PC, your laptop, or whatever, and this connects to the Arduino, and you pro that's how you program it. But anyway, more on that another time. So I've got the Pro Mini. Now, I mentioned that the regulator on the Pro Mini is not very good. It does have a raw pin there, which means you can provide it with raw voltage, but it, it's, not, it's not very good. Um, now, the Nano, on the other hand, does have the voltage regulator, and it has a serial bridge, so you can't quite see it on this one. I just picked this up from the desk there. But underneath it has a regulator. Anyway, the Pro Mini doesn't. So, in this little device here, you can probably see that... I know it's a very nasty job, but you can probably see that it has a, veg a regulator. This is 78M05 voltage regulator. It's a 5-volt regulator. And the idea is that you give it an input voltage of up to, I think it's about 12 or 13 volts or something like that, and it regulates it down to 5 volts. It basically burns off the excess, and um, therefore the little Pro Mini can be powered nicely, uh, direct to the VCC pin. So that gives it 5 volts. So whatever isn't coming in, it regulates it to 5 volts and then powers the, the Arduino. So I've got a voltage regulator. You can also use a different type of regulator. My favourite type of regulator is actually the uh, AMS. I can't remember what it's called now. 1117, I think it is. I can't remember. But for this video, I'm using 78M05. Now, from there, it does two things. It has an output, and it has the input. So the output, as I've said, goes to the, goes to the Arduino, and actually it goes to the Bluetooth module as well. Now, from the input... We've got a voltage regulator. Sorry, no, we haven't. We've got a, a voltage divider. We've got a voltage divider. So, just very quickly, what a voltage divider is. Let's say we have, let's say we have a point here, theoretical point, and this point is plus twelve volts, right? I don't know if the camera can see that. Yeah, I think it can. Just put this to one side for a minute. So we've got plus twelve volts, and down here, let's say we have ground. Uh, we have ground, which which is zero volts. Let's say it's zero volts, and we want to be able to feed some sort of voltage into the Arduino. Then we can have something called a voltage divider. Now the way this works is that we go down here. We have a resistor, and we have another resistor. 
and in the middle we have a um, let's say let's call it a testing point so I'll call that TP testing point so now what we've got here we've got 12 volts we've got 0 volts there Ohm's law states or is it Kirchhoff's law I think it might be Kirchhoff's law that in a in a circuit the voltage is all equipped well I won't go into that but basically all 12 volts gets dropped along here according to their resistances so for example and I'm not going to go into this in too much depth I just want to move on with the video but for example if that was 5 kilo ohms if that was 5 kilo ohms and that was 5 kilo ohms then the voltage here at the test point would be exactly 6 volts plus 6 volts okay now if we mess about with the calculations here we can get we can get it to something else you know we can get it to 4 volts 3 volts and whatever and basically what happens is if that drops there to 6 volts then this drops um also depending on the uh, the ratio between these two resistors anyway that's an, in a very simple way very simple way but i've got a i got one of those anyway okay so i've got a voltage divider and basically this little test point here goes into one of the pins in here which happens to be a0 and and that's how i uh that's how i can sense the voltage the input voltage okay that's how i can sense it right but don't do that with your arduino this is just an example okay don't actually do that because if you did do it 12 volts in and use these resistors and 6 volts out you would you'd fry your arduino because the arduino can't deal with 6 volts you know so don't do it, but that's generally how it works. Now, so I've got the voltage regulator. I've got a um, voltage divider, which helps me to sense voltage. And I've also got another resistor in there. That is a, let's see, that's a 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay, right, no, that's a 10K resistor. So I've got a 10K resistor there. Now what's happening here? It's actually the same sort of thing. So I've got a thermistor here. This is a 10K thermistor. And I've got a 10K resistor. It's the same same sort of thing. So we've got, instead of the 5K there, we've got a 10K thermistor, blah, blah, blah. And we've got a 10K resistor here. And basically the same thing happens. So when heat, when this is affected by heat, it has a different resistance, which therefore changes the test point. And that gets fed into another another pin, which I think is A2 in the Arduino. And that's how I can uh, detect the voltage. So we've got that. So far, fairly simple. I'm probably not going to go into depth with all these other wires, but basically what they are is their um, uh, power wires, stuff like that. I've, I, I think, actually, I will very briefly go into them. So we've got a plus voltage, which is from the, the motorbike battery. We've got a ground, which goes to the motorbike battery ground, or negative terminal. Other wires here, we've got, a, well, you know what they are, thermistor. So we've got, we've got these now. So one, two, three, how many wires? We've got four wires. I can show you what these are very easily. And to do that, I'm going to pull this out. So this is the, the brains behind the operation, if you like. This is the, the Bluetooth module. So you can see there. It says Rayax R Y B zero A zero L, and I believe this is actually called the light version. The light version comes with this breakout board, so it can be broken out into these, uh, uh, you know, this sort of hole system. So I always make these headers because if you make something wrong or it gets fried or whatever, you just pull them out and put something else in. Not that I am suggesting that these would get fried, but whatever. Now the pinout is really simple. As you can see here, uh, get this on the camera. You're going to focus. There we go. So we've got one of the wires going to the ground of the Arduino. RST is reset, which we don't bother with. We've got TXD, which is going to the RXD of the Arduino, from what I remember. It could be software serial. No, it's not. It's hardware, I think. We've got RXD of this that goes to TXD of the, uh, the Arduino. And we've got VDD, which is uh, plus voltage, which should technically be 3.3 volts, but I'm using 5 volts and it's been working fine. Oh, you can see there, there it is light, see? Light version. Okay, so, what's that? Wax. Oh yeah, I've been making candles with the kids. Anyway, so, so there we go. So there are all the modules. 
Now, there is something I need to tell you about this. And that is, you may have noticed that it's got an RX and a TX. And you might be thinking, why, why has it got an RX and a TX? It's because it's a serial device. What's amazing about this device here is that communication is so easy. It works over serial. So what you do basically with this, with this uh, module is from the Arduino, you talk to it via serial. You can use software serial or hardware serial. You talk to it. You say basically to the Bluetooth module, oh, hello, uh, send this to whoever you're connected to. Or, or the module can talk to the Arduino via serial and say, oh, by the way, I've just received this message. And, uh, and there you go. So, yeah, so hopefully that was quite a clear overview. If you use a Pro Mini, like I said, you'll need one of these little programmers. Or one of these programmers. It's the same sort of idea. You need the Pro Mini. Voltage regulator is a good idea. Whatever you're using for input, for me, I said it's a voltage divider and it's also the thermistor uh, voltage divider, if you like. And you also need this little module. Somebody asked me about different modules, and the answer is that I don't really know about different modules. I've used this one. This is the very best that I'm aware of. Um, I haven't, well, I have tried other modules ages ago, and I didn't find them to be very good, but maybe I did something wrong. I don't know. So there you go. That's the device. Now, in the next videos, I'm probably going to do another two videos. The next video will be the C++ code that's necessary in order to get this to talk to this. Okay, that's probably going to be in the next video. So it's going to be Arduino code or C++, whatever you want to call it. The, the community actually calls it a sketch, but there you go. Uh, that's going to be the next video. And then the one after that is going to be a, um, a C Sharp project on a cross-platform framework called MAUI. Yeah. And that cross-platform uh, app, you're going to install on your um, your Android phone. I believe it's actually compatible with other other uh, platforms as well. Anyway, okay, bye.